Kathy. Okay. Next chapter for Kathy is chapter 14. What time do you think it is? I asked Mom Blood. After a while, allow me to consult my, my la latest invention, he chuckles, rolling his sleeve. I call it the wristwatch. Squawk. Oh, that's a beard. Yeah, that's a bird strapped to your arm. True, but it knows the time. Listen. Squawk. It's exactly 2.55 p.m. See? 2.55. Not had speech is about to start. Rumble. And so is your potion storm. Come, come, Max. Let's get to the square. Wow. That's a total mob sense, I exclaim. Mumlin nods. And I look how happy the people seem. None of them suspect that that there are bod hens among them. I I dub it I dub it they they even know that bodkins exist. There he is Hooray for Conrad Long live the king The crowd dra breaks into a tremendous roar. Fake Conrad has just emerged from the castle. I'm going to move closer to the stage, Mumlin tells him, just in case any magic in interrupt is in need. Right, and I'll check out the crowd to make sure everybody's in, in potion. In other words, if I find people inside of the building or under a roof, I'll move them into into the open. The potion won't work on on bodkins. Whoa! Don't get wet. They there's a trumpet blast, and the audience falls silent. The Bugis King raises his hands in greeting. Welcome, my fellow Bajovians. Hey. Hey, Proclams, and thank you for for joining me here today. Yay! I got a I got a hand to the to the guy. He makes a mighty convincing Conrad, and the people are eating it up. They're gonna flip whenever when when they realize we've we've been cheering for his evil twin. So, so here she is, at last, my bodkin. But this isn't the way I pictured it. I thought we'd meet face to face, not with her sticking a knife in my back. Keep moving, Pope. Wait, what? Wait, is that what my voice sounds like? Yuck, yuck. And there. She ushers me through through a doorway and into a vacant vacant storefront. It's not a big space, but there's room enough to make my move. Shove. You're not you're not the only one with a weapon. Swoop. So I see, she mutters. She points her dagger at my chest and glares at me, her eyes blazing. Who are you? Really, after so much drama, that's her question. You obviously know who I am, I growl, since all you are is a copy of me. She looks outraged. My copy? Me? A copy? You're the crown. From the outside, an ear spitting clap. That's so loud, we both dropped our daggers. That was no no ordinary thunder. We, in, we in changed a 
a glance and in, in, instantly have the same same thought. Fighting can't wait. Can wait. Truce for now. We dash to the window. Dark clouds hang low over the square, but there's no rain yet. My my ears move to the platform where Knothead continues to speak. Let us consider the question of loyalty. He proclaims, do you understand the word loyalty? Means doing what you're told. If, if I command you to swear loyalty to me, you just ignore it. Gasp. Wow, a pair of keys? What does it mean? Is this a trick? Is it a trick, the real Conrad? It sure is. It sure is the crowd. I am your true key and fate, faithful friend. This man is an imposter. Above the buzz confusion, Rising from from the square, not head struggles to be heard. These are the words of babbling fool. He shouts, "No, pay no mind to this buffoon. He's the he's the phony. I can. I am the real Conrad. Then prove it. Tell us." Tell us the title of the Bajovia National Anthem. Ah, that's easy. It's Louie Lou. Ha 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 It's not Louie Lou, is it? Not even close. Or if I can't take the throne by trickery, snap, I'll take it by murder. He lunges at the king, but just then there's another roll of thunder, and raindrops begin to pour from the sky. Finally, what? No. I'll tell you what's happening. The the potion's working. It's just like seeing bogus Kevin change into a formalin. Only this time, all the bug kids doing it, except one. Hey, let's go outside for um, a closer look. Are you kidding, Cheese Nuts? Why would, why would I do that? Good point. I should have, have. I sh I should have known she needs some convincing looks, like we're doing this the hard way. Now, clang clang. We duel. She's good. She's a good fighter, but she hasn't participated against the best like I have. Using a few Sedwick-like moves, I'm able to force her out, out the door and into the rain. Okay, okay, potion, do your stuff. I wait. I wait for her skin to change color, for her arms to lace, to wait wither away, for her body to transform, into a shadowy mass. It doesn't happen. Or a gray smoke. It doesn't happen. Why not? Look out! Eee! Clunk. Ouch. A flying elbow sends me tumbling into the ground. Exactly my night is night, nightly moment. I'm face down. 
face down in the street when I should be fighting my bug king. Where'd she, where'd she go? Max, there you are. Millie. Er, uh, you are Millie, aren't you? She most assuredly is. Her bodkin, in fact, already all the bodkins have been vanquished. Let's keep that it that way. Mumbling. Mumbling. Proceed to or close the close the portal and not prim permanently. Yes, your majesty. I'll call I'll call I'll call Seymour and and his assistants. Hold it. There's still one bodkin left. Seen by Jovia. Mine. Yours? said we asked. Where is she? I feel my my cheeks grow grow warm. Um she got away, I admit. But she was right here, and she, the potion didn't affect her at all. How how can that be? Uncle Biderick wonders. Mumbling said, "The potion was full full proof." There can only be one explanation. Kevin concludes. The girl Max describes is not a bodkin. Huh? Then what is she? There's an awkward silence, Conrad and Gadabout exchange some whispered words. Then the old knight clears his throat. Max, do you, do you remember when I left the night school? Sure. King Conrad sent you on a kind, some kind of mission. Yes. I was to learn whatever I could about that this person. From a small pouch, he pulls a battered golden pot locket and fierce and and peers it open. Inside, inside rests a tiny painted port portrait. It's me, but that's impossible. I never posed. For a painting, it's, I've never posed for a painting. Look at the other side. Get about says gently. He tips the locket into the palm and the por portrait drops out of, of the plain wooden ba backing is enchanted name, Mary. Mary. Who the heck is Mary? After today's events, I think we know. She's the young lady you just met and mistook for a bodkin. So my bodkin is just a girl? More than just a girl, Max. Much more. As Gadabout's words sink in, my whole body starts to tingle. I understand now, thanks to the time to that tiny portrait. I'm finally seeing the big picture. Mare's my sister, isn't she? My twin sister. Yet about smiles. It's rather exciting news. Well, yeah, maybe I mumble. If she's nice, she didn't really seem like the warm and fuzzy type. Nobody's fuzzy during a sword fight. <laughs> you just... You just need to to get to know her. Yeah, let's track her down. It'll be a jolly good quest. After all, the Midnights aren't haven't had a real adventure in how long has it been? Squawk. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes feels more like fifteen years. I turn around and there's Uncle Budrick. I I forget sometimes what kind kind face he he has but I notice now 
I'm happy for you, Nat, he says, his voice crackling. It's not every day you learn you have a, have a sister. Who knows? You might even end up with a whole family. Only, only if you're a part of it, I tell him. We, we stick together. Wherever I go, you go. Deal. Unless it's somewhere with snakes or spiders or gluten-free pasta. Got it. Uncle Bodrick peels off toward the castle with Conrad and Gadabelt. Mumbling reunites with Seymour and leaves for the wandering woods. I join the rest of the midnights ahead for well. I'm not really sure. Where should where should we start? I ask. An unusual as usual, Kevin's happy to prove prove it an answer before we embark on our next adventure. I must write about this one, he announces. The tale of those despicable creatures from Knot will make a stupendous book. What what it's gonna be called Simon S. Battle of the Bodkins, Cameron replies. And all I already know how it ends. With our heroes walking off into the sunset. Well, that's the end of the book. I hope you liked it. And you should get this book. It's really great. So...